It's Mrs. Ryan and today is Wellness Wednesday and today I'm going to be reading to you a book called In My Heart by Joe Wittick and this is a great little book all about feelings and how they come in different shapes and different sizes and I thought this would be a great book to read today because of everything that's going on in the world I have a lot of students tell me as though they feel like they're on an emotional roller coaster where some days they feel really strong and optimistic and happy and healthy and other days they feel really sad and frustrated or upset and angry. And I'm here to tell you that all of those feelings are really, really normal. And after the book, I'm going to be talking to you about something that I call an acronym called HALT. And HALT is an acronym that I use to teach students to stop and check in on their feelings. And you would think that this would be something really simple, but you'd be surprised at how often we ignore our basic needs. So let's get started. My heart is full of feelings, big feelings and small feelings, loud feelings and quiet feelings, quick feelings and slow feelings. My heart is like a house with all these feelings living inside. Sometimes my heart feels like a big yellow star, shiny and bright. I smile from ear to ear and twirl around so fast I feel as if I could take off into the sky. And this is when my heart is happy. Other times my heart feels strong. I stand up tall as if I can touch the clouds. New people and places don't frighten me. I can do it. Watch me go. This is when my heart is brave. When I get really angry, my heart feels as if it's going to explode. Don't come near me. My heart is yelling hot and loud. And this is when my heart is mad. But other times my heart is cool. I bob along gently like a balloon on a string. My heart feels lazy and slow, as quiet as snowfall. And this is when my heart is calm. On harder days, mean words hurt my feelings and my heart feels hurt too. It's fragile and delicate, but it can be healed with extra kisses. And this is when my heart is broken. Some days my heart feels as heavy as an elephant. There's a dark cloud over my head and tears fall like rain. And this is when my heart is sad. Eek! When I see something scary, my heart beats fast. I feel cold, as if a chilly breeze has crawled up my neck and I run away as fast as I can. And this is when my heart is afraid. Sometimes I hide my heart away where no one can see, like my own small treasure. I don't want anyone to look at me. Safe on my swing, I can watch the world from up above. And this is when my heart is shy. My heart can feel so many feelings and yours can too. Today, my heart is proud. How does your heart feel today? So the next thing I wanna discuss is an acronym that I talk to a lot of kids about and it's something called HALT. So I always say that the key to maintaining a healthy lifestyle is a combination of self-care and self-awareness. And by taking care of ourselves and recognizing certain signs, we can prevent burnout. One of the tools that I use is called HALT. It's an acronym. And this helps remind us to take a moment and ask ourselves, are we feeling hungry, angry, lonely, we're tired. And it seems simple enough, but when these basic needs are not met, we're really susceptible to self-destructive behaviors. Fortunately, hunger, anger, loneliness, and tiredness are easy to address and serve as a warning system before things reach a breaking point. Hunger can be physical or an emotional need. And understanding the need to eat is really straightforward, but we need to remind ourselves not just to eat, but to eat well. And meeting nutritional needs allows our bodies to operate to the highest potential, and then we'll end up feeling a little bit better. However, when we halt and assess our situation, we can describe a hunger for sometimes less tangible things, such as affection, 
accomplishment, a warm hug, or maybe understanding. And this is why having a support system is really important. Those who care for you and love you, they kind of give you the food for your heart and they ease the emotional hunger that you're feeling. But to ease hunger, don't turn to destructive habits or negative people. This won't fill any type of um, emotional emptiness that you're feeling. Instead, find something wholesome to eat with a good friend or a loved one over Zoom. The next is anger, and anger is a really normal, healthy emotion to experience. But the important thing is to halt and take time to understand what's causing your anger and know how to express it. Maybe you're angry with a situation, a person, or maybe yourself. It might be one little thing that spins out of control or something that's been going on for a long time. But no matter what's bothering you, you have to assess whether or not you can confront what is angering you. Calmly talking to the person that you have an issue with or fixing the problem that you're having can be really helpful. If what is angering you is out of your control or you aren't ready to confront the issue, try to express yourself in other ways. Maybe exercising, yelling into a pillow, um, maybe clearing out some of your room or space to feel maybe a physical type of calm. Creative projects, maybe such as painting, singing, um, might even be a really good way to help with your anger. Or meditation can be a great way to calm yourself anywhere at any time. But really talking to someone who isn't involved in the situation can be really useful too, like your counselor. But regardless of how you take out your anger, make sure you acknowledge it and reflect upon it because it can cause so many things and it's important to release it in a constructive, not destructive way. The next is loneliness. And loneliness can occur when we're by ourselves or even when we're surrounded by a lot of people. But these days we seem to be a lot more alone than we are surrounded by a lot of people. We isolate ourselves when we don't feel like others can understand us. Withdrawing into ourselves out of fear or doubt. Being alone is kind of a self-imposed situation. If you're feeling lonely, you should halt and ask yourself if you've reached out to anyone lately. Your counselor, your mom, your dad, your support system is there for you when you feel depressed, overwhelmed, or anxious, or if you just need someone to talk to. The next is tiredness. And tiredness can really take a toll on our bodies, our mind, and our spirit. And before our quarantine, we are super busy. And after quarantine, while we still may be at home a lot more, it's really common for us to still experience tiredness. However, running on low energy compromises your ability to think and our capacity to cope, really. So taking the time to halt is really important when you're tired. We really need to satisfy the physical need to sleep, rest, rejuvenate. It's critical to keeping healthy physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So be really mindful about those video games and those screens that you might be watching late at night because those can really disrupt our sleep and definitely increase our tiredness. Hulk can really serve as a reminder to all of us that we need to take care of our basic needs every day. And for those who are stressed or overwhelmed or frustrated, paying closer attention to your feelings will help you. So take a moment each day to check in with yourself and ask yourself, am I hungry, angry, lonely, or tired? Honestly, assessing how you feel really only takes a minute and doing so will make the everyday stress of life easier to deal with and help you maintain a healthy lifestyle. So hopefully this was really helpful for you. And I hope you guys have a great Wellness Wednesday and take care of yourself.